Focusing on the Australian scene, we cast our eyes to Southport, Queensland this coming Saturday, 20 July 2024, when IBF Australasian lightweight champion Ibrahim Bala defends his title for the first time since defeating Yusuf Dib, younger brother of former IBF featherweight champion Billy the Kid Dib last year in 2023. He'll be defending the title against rising prospect and the very talented Jalen Tate. Ten years separate these two, but in terms of professional bouts, not too much separates them. However, the amateur ranks tells a different story. It's ten rounds of lightweight action, so let's get into it. Ibrahim La Bala Bala, which translates to the bullet from Spanish, comes from a much decorated amateur background. The 33-year-old Victorian has collected numerous medals and competed as an amateur in both Commonwealth Youth and Senior Games and also in the 2012 London Summer Olympics, where he was part of a boxing squad that also included future welterweight champ Jeff Horn and future cruiserweight champ, now two-time champ, Jairo Pattaya. I've watched Ibrahim train alongside his older brother, Camille Bella, who also possesses a decorated amateur background in person many moons ago when I was training to be less fat at their uncle Mitat's gym out in the western suburbs of Melbourne. It was an old school throwback gym, basically a big metal shed with walls adorned with many posters of the many boxing champions over the years. I loved it and it brings back memories when I think about the gym. And I also remember just how impressive the Bella brothers were during sparring. Ibrahim was young and skinny back then, but as a fully grown bloke, he's filled out and is thick and big for the 135 pound division. Incidentally, his last defeat was at Featherweight where he was stopped early in the fight. That was in 2018 perhaps leaving too much of himself in the weight cut and thus making him vulnerable on fight night. After the loss and a short hiatus from pro boxing, Ibrahim returned a few years later, scaling in as a lightweight. He has gone on since then to string together consecutive wins, including his points victory over Yusuf Dib in 2023, his only bout for that year. Ibrahim retains much of that amateur instinct and style in the ring. Positioning himself just out of range, say mid-range, Ibi uses his jab to great effect. Probing, sniping, doubling and tripling up and looking to not just soften or position his opponent with the jab, but to also get a response in order to counter. And a good counter puncher he is. He is also strong in a clinch and dare I say could have this in his advantage over Jalen. Good footwork and positioning allows Ibi to punish any sloppy defense and offense with his quick counter-offensive. And just like a bullet, his shots land hard and fast. It has been a while since Ibi stopped an opponent in the ring. Could he break the drought against Tate? Jalen the Wolf Tate is an exciting up and coming prospect that I have had my eye on for a little while now. Not in a gay way. Pop not being funny. Not up your arms. But I like what he does in the ring. There's a little dollop of showboating and cockiness, but behind that is some legitimate substance. Fighting out of the Southpaw stance, Tate has stopped eight opponents in his 15 professional bouts, demonstrating that he has power. But it's more than just blunt force that's earning him knockouts. It's the variety in shot selection and the sheer unpredictability of where the shots are coming from that typically catches opponents unawares. Tate has a talent for misdirection, distracting an opponent with one hand, typically his lead, whilst his backhand is already set in motion and on its way to find its target. He's tricky, fast and precise. He can be light on his feet, but can also plant them when he wants to throw power shots. And moving forwards or on the defensive, he can put effective combinations together with ease and fluidity, which come from the fact that for someone only 23 years old, Tate displays a lot of maturity and composure when under pressure. The question is, how high is Jalen's ceiling? Fighting under promoter Angelo DiCarlo in Ace Boxing Group, where fellow Ace stablemate and matchroom co-promoted, newly crowned IBF super lightweight champion Liam Paro is also represented, Tate has already had international exposure, fighting on matchroom cards and being watched by scores of boxing fans on The Zone. But I ask again, how high is Jalen's ceiling? Ange DiCarlo has big expectations for him. And in fact, the name of the event that Jalen will be headlining next is titled The Next Gen. He could very well be the next gen of Aussie boxing superstars. 
there is some tightening up to do with regards to defense and offensively there still is some crudeness in the way Jalen throws a shot occasionally but for a young lad he has a good foundation and natural skill and ability. Jalen has a good canvas to build upon. If I'm wrong, I'm happy to go a few rounds with former Victorian Premier, the dishonorable Dan Andrews. I mean, I'd really be happy to. Even if my prediction is right, to be honest, if anyone can make that happen, that'd be great. But I think despite the amateur pedigree and extensive amateur record of Ibrahim Bala, I feel like it's the younger, fresher legs and dynamic, tricky style of Jalen Tate that could cause some issues for the 33-year-old Ibrahim Bala. Bala's movement can be a little stiff and closing the gap on Jalen requires nimble movement on light feet should he choose to be the aggressor. Bala is a good counter puncher and he might opt to let Jalen come to him. Jalen will be prepared for this. The problem for Bala is Jalen's punches can come from weird angles and the cadence on his shots can be a mixed lolly bag, thus making them hard to anticipate. Jalen can counter also, and he's got good distance management. In fact, overall, generally speaking, Jalen does a lot of things really well, and we should also mention that activity over recent years also favors Jalen. So who am I picking? Well, I think Tate gets the win on points to become the new IBF Australasian lightweight champion. Let us know in the comments below who you think wins and how. Thank you for watching Pound for Pound TV. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future updates. See you in the next one. Check out our Patreon page to become a Patreon family member where you will receive some cool perks. If you're looking for some new threads, we've got t-shirts, hoodies, and much, much more. So head on over to our Michael A. Kobe Pound for Pound TV stores. They can be found on Redbubble and Spreadshop. Join me on my travels and head on over to my other YouTube channel titled Barefoot and Free. There you can follow me as I traverse the many parts of our planet and occasionally get into a spot of bother. Nonetheless, it's always fun and entertaining. If you're struggling with some of life's obstacles and challenges, my book How to Get Out of Life Traps might just be the answer that you're looking for to help guide you through the difficult times. It's helped many get past some of their darkest moments and it might do the same for you. You can purchase it on Amazon where you can also find a wide range of my other works. Those works include screenplay to book adaptations, a fairly unique concept with genres covering comedy heist and revenge, drama, supernatural and crime, if that's more your cup of tea. You can find them by following the link provided.